Hi folks, it's Max from Nexus4Root.com. So I've got a quick ROM review of Toasted Marshmallow. Um, this is a really cool ROM um, by an uh, XDA user named dot 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 awesome dot dot dot. Uh, it is an awesome ROM by an awesome person. Uh, pretty awesome. And uh, let me show you, it is running Android 4.2.2. Uh, it is actually very similar to like uh, Pac-Man or Jelly Bam. It, it is a mix of AOKP, um, CM10.1, and also Paranoid Android. Uh, but very solid, very good battery life, and also c comes with uh, Awesome Beats, uh, which is really nice, and uh, Walkman app, which is really nice. And uh, I really like this ROM. It is very, very stable. Now, um, let me show you. Let me show you how I've customized it. Um, you can see I've got high on Android there and uh, also let me show you the settings uh, some of the tweaks I recommend on the ROM control uh, I went over this a bunch of times you can change the ca custom carrier label there uh, show notification counts and also um, hold hardware back to kill kill all button recent RAM bar that's for your recent uh, bar there so you can see the RAM bar and you can also kill all of your apps uh, with one one uh, swipe there and also 180 degree rotation if you want to uh, rotate your phone 180 degrees and uh, lock screen um, you can get uh, also check allow all widgets allow unlimited widgets so you can add any of your favorite widgets in your widgets here uh, without unlocking your lock screen um, so you can see a lot more it's kind of in a fablet mode right now fabulous and also let me show you some more stuff um, lock screen rotation, that's kind of cool. Volume wake. Um, this is all part of AOKP. Um, but in, just in case you haven't seen it, also navigation bar, you can get up to seven, oh, sorry, five. And I've got, uh, uh, as you can see, I've got uh, my favorite stuff. Um, I also got a uh, screenshot. If you hold down the camera button, uh, I'll take a screenshot, which is kind of cool. And also, I've moved all my home buttons, back buttons um, to the right. I think it's makes more sense uh, when I'm using it right-handed and also you can use it uh, the other way uh, if you're left-handed and also more the AOKP stuff uh, Paranoid Android settings this is great make sure you enable uh, Paranoid Android colors just apply hit grant um, this will change the notification bar and and the status bar uh, colors let's say uh, Google search or Play Store you'll see the uh, colors change there you go it's all redded out um, kind of cool, and uh, that's what it is. Uh, you know, all the paranoid Android stuff you can do, and uh, you can actually run your whole UI in stock, phablet, tablet, all that good stuff. And also, you'll find that um, you know some of your apps might be running in tablet mode when you first run this app, or uh, this ROM. Sorry. Um, then you can go into paranoid Android settings and go to apps and change per app basis. Uh, for example, Gmail is right now on 600p. Change that to 6360p. Apply, and uh, boom! Now it's in uh, regular mode. And also, the font is a little bit, a little bit small. So I'm gonna move it to the right. Apply. Um, now it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Um, I like it kind of like that on the phone. Uh, but you can do it. Uh, you know, run your apps in tablet, phablet, all that good stuff. Paranoid Android. And also Pi, if you want Pi, um, set it here. I recommend trigger area to be small, otherwise when you use your keyboard in uh, portrait mode, it might interfere. Um, pi gravity, right or left or top or bottom, uh, however you want it. And to enable this, um, you will have to make sure uh, the expanded system power menu is enabled. Go to power menu, make sure expanded desktop is set to a uh, status bar visible or hidden. If you want that hidden also you can do that. And you'll see an expanded desktop, enable it. Now you'll be able to actually use Pi. Um, so that's one thing different. So you can go here. Uh, let's go to recent. Go back there. Um, so that's how you can enable the Pi settings. And also I do recommend LMT launcher um, if you want additional options, uh, I have that on highonandroid.com. You can get a bunch of themes. Uh, and also, let's go back to kernel control. No overclocking here. It's actually conservative. I actually recommend on demand. Um, 
you can also try different kernels if you want. Uh, but very nice ROM. Um, you know, one thing to note is that it is very stable and the battery life is good and uh, that's kind of important. Um, also Pac-Man is very good too, Jelly Bam. Those are all great ROMs. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm not sure, very similar, but I find it uh, very stable. So check it out, just more options for you. Uh, there are so many great ROMs for the Nexus 4. Uh, and do let me know what you think. Just run it for like a couple days and uh, you know, compare it with Pac-Man, Jelly Bam, all those good ROMs and tell me which one is the best if you have time. Uh, and uh, as always, if you have a Nexus 4, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus4root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And uh, you can also subscribe to my Nexus 4 channel. I think it's called a, actually called a Root Nexus 4. But I'll have the links down below. Anyway, see you guys later. Stay high on Android. Uh.